everyone, Anthony here for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes, and I'm very happy to bring you yet another exclusive first look at a new Sony camera. Joining me again in the studio is Kenta from the Sony Digital Imaging Team. He's going to give us the lowdown on the successor to the A900, the new A99, and we'll also find out about some accessories. But first, let's get into this camera. Tell me what's new. Well, almost everything about this camera is new compared I like that. to the A900, yes. Um, but first off, uh, we'll start with the image sensor. Um, it's a full frame image sensor, so, so 35 millimeter Great. full frame. Yeah, the resolution is 24 megapixels. Okay. So ISO range is 100 to 25,600, so very sensitive even in low light. Mm -hmm. so now we'll... that's similar to what we saw on the A900, correct? No, no. no. The, the, the ISO sensitivity is much higher now. Oh, awesome. So we're expecting really good shots out of this camera. Oh, that's great. We're excited about that. But there's more to that image sensor. Um, so, you know with the TMT mirror, you mm -hmm. can actually divert uh, your light into a separate AF module, so you right. always have that continuous AF, right? Yeah, 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 because you're always, you're seeing what the camera is seeing while it's also bouncing into the image sensor, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. But now it has a phase detection AF on the image sensor now. So it's dual AF. Okay. So how does having two focus modules help us take better pictures? So essentially you get a wider coverage area of all the AF points and it, it's seeing is believing here. I'm in AFD mode right now. Mm -hmm. So essentially you have this whole screen to yourself um, when it comes to AF points. Cool. And so having that wider focus means that we don't lose objects as easily. And it exactly. Stays in there. So cool. if you're tracking an object in object tracking mode, mm -hmm. if you're within this area, you can always um, have a precise focus, even cool. in um, burst shooting modes. And then another uh, really interesting feature here is AF range control. So essentially, you can limit the AF range where it hunts for that focus. Okay. Uh, on the camera side. So if you think about it, if you're in a zoo setting, you mm -hmm. have a metal wire in front of you. It will, uh, if you set the AF range correctly, it'll always shoot the animal inside that cage and won't focus on the, uh, the, the That's field bars. That's very cool. And in addition to that, we have a new dial called the silent multi-controller here. Essentially, it's a dial with a button. And this is very different from the regular uh, dials that you see on the, on the thumb area and the index finger because it does, doesn't have a click to it. It's very silent. So this is really useful when you're taking video and you want to change uh, settings on the fly while taking video without any noise. And this is also programmable. So once you press the center button, you can call the menu. And right now I have an ISO setting here and I can change this on the fly like so. And with a long press, I can access different menu settings. I love that. So are, are we talking about the usual image formats here? Yes, the usual image formats, but something new is uh, the processor engine as well. The Vion's processor has mm -hmm. improved. And also we added on the front, uh, front end LSI to realize 14-bit out raw outputs now. So that gives us a, a much larger range of color. Correct. More color, more information there. Awesome. So, uh, and then, as far as the viewfinder, mm -hmm. are we using the new OLED, uh, the OLED viewfinder? Correct, correct. So what, that's one big difference from the A900. Now this one has the OLED um, EVF electronic viewfinder. So it's just like the NEX7, just like the A77. You have the really uh, crisp and fast response um, OLED viewfinder experience, and you can you can shoot with the EVF during video recording. So that's a big plus as well. Awesome. And I noticed that we have. Uh, we have a range of motion here on the LCD. Yep, so we're borrowing this from the A77. It's a three axis tilt uh, LCD mechanism, so you can sh even shoot yourself as well. Like That's that. great. Also, if you've noticed, uh, some really good um, button layouts as well. W what we have here is a Quick Navi Pro. I'm going to change the display here. You can press the function button to easily access whatever menu you want. So there's oh, more um, direct access. You don't have to dive into the menu system at all here. Very also, cool. some, uh, some features here. We have a, a locking mechanism for the mode dial, so you don't inadvertently change that. Great. I'm pretty clumsy. I hit that pretty <laughs> often. <laughs> yeah. On the side here, we have a DC input for power. Also, um, I wanted to point out, um, Two inputs, uh, well, the mic input, mm -hmm. and also a headphone jack. So oh, can, great. So for storage, mm -hmm. we're supporting memory stick, SD, uh, SD card? Cards. That's correct. 
And not only that, we have dual slots, so two slots here. And you can program it so that one, uh, one uh, SD card gets the photos, one, the other one gets movies, or you can duplicate each card as well. Cool. So can I use it for it. overflow as well? So Correct. if I fill yeah. one, that's really cool. It's going to be really convenient. And then I wanted to go into a little bit about videotaking. Yeah, because, sure. Uh, after the launch of the A900, um, videography with full-frame DSLRs be has become very popular. So we wanted to deliver the best customer experience for video. Um, so this one, uh, with this new image sensor, you can now output 1080 Full HD 60p video. You also have 60i and then the choice of 24p as well. Oh, that's great. Yes. And uh, all in ABC HD or MP4 format. Another great thing about this camera is that it has simultaneous uh, uncompressed HDMI output. So you can have video feed out, out of the HDMI into an external um, video recorder, but also be able to record it onto your SD card. Oh, it's super cool. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you guys have added that make, uh, make the camera better for videographers? So um, one thing you might have noticed is that we have a new shoe, hot shoe here. It accepts standard ISO shoes, so if you have Canon or Nikon flash, Great. you can add in here. But um, if you can take a look here, we have additional terminals. So what this enables is a whole host of new accessories that accepts that. Wow, that is awesome. I definitely want to hear about all of the accessories that you guys have coming for the A99. So also joining us now is Ed from the Sony Digital Imaging team. Ed, tell me what we have here on the table. Start with this guy for sure. First one we have here is the XLR box. I'll let you hold it in your hands there. Right. And Kenton was talking about full frame photography now being available with the A99. Now you can add the audio experience with bringing a professional XLR box. It comes with two phantom, phantom power enabled inputs. So if you have a local mic here, like a professional mic plus a lav mic, mm -hmm. you can control those two uh, inputs however you want. Oh, wow. Now it comes with an auto setting. So if you're not too professional, but you have the XLR box, it'll kind of do it itself. And then there's also the manual setting. So if you know exactly what sort of level that you need to get to, you can control the attenuation on both the inputs. That's super great. Right, and it mounts easily here with the bracket. That's not provided, unfortunately. This this is great. This yeah. Is... And now we have a new flagship flash as well here. Yes, this is the HVL 60M flash. And talking again about the video shooting experience, the great one about this is now if you're out shooting and you have it connected to your camera, now if you mount this, you actually have a tracking video light as well. That's so you So you get you can get all those soft colors, get rid of some of those shadows when you're shooting again full frame video with the A99. Um, still shooting, you're still going to get all the power of the quick shift bounce, so you can rotate at 90 degrees either way. Um, the menu setting has been updated, so now it's a quick Navi interface just like you have on there. It makes getting all the different settings. If you want to switch between multi-flash or use it as a remote flash, you can do those with really quick, simple steps. And it comes with a wheel now instead of a directional aerial. So kind of a little oh, bit wow. smoother thing. Everybody knows how to use an iPod, so. Yeah, very awesome. And I, I notice here we also have uh, an adapter. So if I want to get this flagship flash, but I have maybe uh, an alpha camera from last year, I can right. still grab that. Don't despair. This ships with the adapter, so if you have an older alpha camera, it's right in there, you can attach it right on there. And that's one of the other accessories that come, comes with the foot stand, a diffuser, the uh, wide angle panel, and then also a bounce sheet as well. Oh, that's awesome. And then finally here we have a battery grip because you gotta have a battery grip, right? Yep. Oh, this, has been, um, this has been redesigned a little bit as well, yeah? Absolutely. Uh, and like you said, any good professional carries a vertical grip for a different orientation. You maintain all the integrity of your function settings. You can use the control dial, uh, control your aperture, speed shutter, just like you would with the regular grip. But the really cool thing about this new uh, VGC 99 AM, three battery charge. So now, okay. instead of having only two batteries with your A77, you can put in three M500H batteries. So three batteries go in the grip, or are we talking about internal battery and then two in the grip? One internal battery, and uh -huh. then two batteries can go into the grip, which again is a new feature. Awesome, that's great. Yep. So when can I get my hands on the A99? So it'll be available in October. For body only, it will be $2,800. Cool, and I would imagine accessories are coming out in line with that as well? Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me, guys. And remember to stay on top of everything Sony makes. Just go to youtube.com signal and subscribe to our videos. For now, this is Anthony for Signal by Sony.